understand appreciation to be putting yourself in a mindset that you're thankful for where you're at because you know where you're going. It's, it's the law of attraction. So when you're not appreciative for what you currently have, it's going the universe is going to keep bringing you things that you're not appreciative for. Like you have to put yourself in a space where you appreciate everything around you and then everything around you will become something that you really appreciate. I mean, that, that's hard. That's the hardest part is like getting there before the physical stuff happens. But it's like, just know that all of these wonderful possibilities and all of these amazing things are available to you. You just haven't reached it yet. Imagine that you just discovered that you have the winning lottery ticket and you've got like a hundred million dollars on this ticket, right? But the ticket isn't necessarily, like the money isn't in your bank account. So you don't have the money, but you know, like you're already like pumped up because you have the ticket that's gonna get you the money. You know what I'm saying? That's how you have to be in life. You have to be pumped up and ready to get all the stuff that's coming your way in order to allow it to come into your life. Appreciation is knowing that you're fully supported by the universe. You're fully supported. You're fully taken care of. When you're able to find something to appreciate in everything, it's easier to appreciate everything. So it's something that you, you do have to kind of get in the mindset of doing. You have to practice it. And then after you get in the habit of seeing things with more appreciative eyes, it becomes more natural to you. So it's, it's basically just like guiding yourself into a more positive attitude about everything. And I believe me, I understand when, how I understand how frustrating it is when you're just so dissatisfied with everything that's going on and someone's like, well, you just got to appreciate them and good things will happen. Like, <laughs> how frustrating is that when you're just like not trying to hear that? But I'm telling you, like, trust me, I would not be saying this so passionately if I didn't live it. So like if you're in a place where you're just like, oh, life sucks. I was there and I was I felt that and I was uh, I was miserable and this works. So just you, you have to allow yourself to give it a try. OK, sorry, guys. It's early morning and this sun is changing so fast, so it was getting a little too bright. But anyway, being appreciative is so easy. The difficult part is allowing yourself to let go of all those negative emotions that are keeping you from feeling the appreciation. It's giving up the excuses and giving up the dissatisfaction. It's like you literally don't have to do anything. You have to do less. I mean, it's true that like, there's always someone who's in a worse situation than you. So there's, that's always an easy way to kind of put yourself into perspective and like, at least I have this, you know, at least I'm not this, uh, whatever, like, but I also know that everything is relative, you know? I mean, some people don't have very much at all and they're so happy in life because they don't want much at all, you know? Uh, some people have a whole lot of stuff and they're not satisfied because they want a whole bunch more stuff. So it is all relative, but you have to calibrate yourself to like be happy where you are. And then in that you'll continually move into more and more of a space of like what your ideal life is or, you know, what your ideal situation is. It doesn't, appreciation doesn't like magically snap your life into this awesome like, oh wow, everything's magical now. It, it uh, is a process. For me, it was like, all right, I'm trying to be appreciative. You know, it's like every day, it's like, all right, I gotta remind myself, you know, we're appreciative. Oh, at least I'm thankful for this. At least, at least, you know, I don't know. At least I have my health, I have my mobility. And even if everything is going wrong in my life, at least I can go outside and smell some fresh air. You know, I'm grateful that I'm surrounded by nature. I always have some place outside to go where I'm surrounded by trees and birds, you know, that's, 
that's a huge gift for me because that's what I need. But um, it's like you have to get on the same team as the universe. It is so important to understand that we are creators, not just in the physical sense, but in the this um, non-physical way. And we do make things happen. We really do. When things are not going your way, it's because you really are creating a negative space for yourself. It's not that you're not able to create positive, it's that you're actively creating the negative. So you have to like change your gears and shift your energy into like the direction that you do want to go. When something is not right, you have to look at it and say, okay, why isn't this right? What have we done to get to this point? How can we change those things? How can we change the behavior? How can we change, you know, the information that we're, we're using and make sure that it doesn't get to this point anymore? It's always constantly helping yourself get better and better and improve. That should be your mission to like just constantly improve. Of course it's going to feel overwhelming when you're trying to get from the bottom to the very top in one step. That's crazy. But if you can say, okay, one, one little tiny step at a time, you know, every day I'm getting a little closer and a little closer and you allow yourself the, not even the patience, but just like, enjoying every moment of that process and that progress you'll, you'll just be so much happier because life is a progress you know it's a progression of moments every single moment is a new moment and you just keep going keep going and it never ends until you end and then even then like you're not really gone you know your energy just transfers so it's like you have to enjoy the journey. <laughs> it's not like, once I get here, then I'll be happy. You'll never be happy there if you're not happy here. Because the things that are making you unhappy, aren't. Isn't, it's not what's around you, it's what's inside you. So you have to change what's inside of you that's making you unhappy in order for the outside to become a happy place. As within, so without. That's a super cliche thing to say, but it's so true. We don't want to believe that it's so easy, but it is. It's easy. People are doing more difficult things in life to try to find happiness that's not working for them. So if you're going through all of this stress and all of this anxiety and depression and just like, oh, life, why not just try just chilling for a second and just being like, all right, I accept where I am. I'm going to try to make it as cool as possible and uh, see what happens just just try it out and if it doesn't work for you go back to whatever you were doing but like give it a chance to give it a chance to manifest for you i'm gonna tell you something so i do a gratitude journal every morning as soon as i wake up i i journal and then right before i go to bed i journal and one of the things that i've been adding to it is like because of course we want like a comfortable really comfortable life you know what i'm saying like nobody wants to struggle or whatever so you know lately i've been like i'm so thankful for the comfort and the luxury and the abundance and so i go to the library often and i sit at the same spot and at this table there's these really hard wooden chairs they're like kind of slippery you know what i'm talking about and i can't sit there for very long because well i don't have much meat on my bones <laughs> and um I remember like after I started journaling those specific things like comfort and luxury and mm, life, life's feeling good, I went to the library and the very seat that I always sit in, like all the other chairs were the same, but that seat, someone had switched it out for one with like, it was almost like an armchair with like a cushion. And I was like, I did that. I did that. <laughs> Of course, somebody else like decided they wanted a comfortable chair, but they left it there and nobody moved it. So that when I showed up, hey, it was ready for me. That's the universe. Like, and I, I know there's like people who don't want to believe in the higher powers or whatever, and that's fine, you know, do your thing. But obviously, if you're that way, then maybe this video is not for you. But this is for people who are like, okay, I, I, I know that there's something more to life. And so I want to give that a chance, right? So be open-minded and just, like, even if you don't want to believe that there's like a higher power doing it, just take responsibility because you yourself are part of that higher power. So just be like, yeah, I did that. I have that power. The key to it all is realizing that everything that you want is already here right now, but you have to be able to see it. 
and it will never be visible to you until you become appreciative enough to recognize what's right in front of you. You could be like really unhappy. What, like if you're having a bad day and you go outside and you're just like, oh, there's nothing to be thankful for. You know, there's something that you can do to stop and just be like, wow, I have like, I can see. Some people can't see, you know? And like the fact that you have a sense that you're able to use and experience this, the visible part of the world is amazing. If you can hear, just be like, wow, I'm so grateful that I'm able to experience this aspect of the world. I can hear these beautiful sounds and you know, it's amazing, like some people can't hear. And so take advantage of anything that you're able to do. Appreciate that, it's, it's very basic. Like it doesn't have to be like, I'm, I'm thankful for you know the, the crappy job that I have. Don't do that, don't do that to yourself. What you can do is just be like, man, I'm thankful that I woke up and you know, my family's safe. It could have been a worse morning, you know what I mean? Somebody I love could be hurt or, you know, not here anymore. They could, could not have woken up. So we don't appreciate stuff until we don't have it anymore. So you have to be able to say, I'm thankful for everything that is right. <laughs> Even if it's one thing that's right in your life, be like, man, I'm thankful that's right because that could go wrong and I could have nothing. I'm so thankful for that one little thing. Some, sometimes it feels like you have to dig deep and like really fight to find something to feel appreciative for, but do it. It won't feel so difficult. The more and more you do it, it'll, it'll feel easier and easier. And it's, it's like, it's not that it literally becomes easier, it's just that you become more accepting of it. You release that resistance to do that. I know people who are just like, oh, I don't wanna hear it, I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> okay, you don't wanna hear it but nothing's gonna change for you. And I, the more appreciative I become, the more simple the things are that I appreciate. Like, I just find myself like just watching the birds fly and I appreciate it. It makes me smile. It makes me happy to see them just like free and just like, I love it. I love looking at the colors of things. Like color is so amazing. We don't have to have all of these colors. It's just here for us to appreciate. It's here for us to just enjoy. So take advantage of that. Enjoy, you're supposed to be enjoying your life. You cannot enjoy your life if you are set on making everything not good enough. Say somebody gives you a gift for your birthday and you're like, oh, thanks, that's you know, nice, but it's not really what I wanted, and this and this and this, and you're not really appreciative for it, that person's not gonna get you a nicer gift for your birthday. They probably won't even get you a gift for your birthday next year, you know what I'm saying? So that's what the universe is like. It presents you these beautiful things, and if you're not consciously like, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love, look at the colors. I'm thankful for my ability to, to you know, to absorb the world and to experience the world with my senses and they're, they're, I have the ability to enjoy the, the beauty that surrounds me. You know, just things like that, just the very basic things. The universe can't give you any more. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if you can't appreciate what's already here, how can you receive anything else? Ew, how arrogant is that to be like, my life isn't good enough for me. Like, what? Who are you, man? Who are you? Life is good enough for, life is better than we <laughs> deserve sometimes, most times, because of our attitudes. I mean, obviously, like, we deserve all of the wonderful, abundant things in life, but, like, sometimes our attitudes make us not deserving of it. And that's what happens. That's literally what happens, is, like, our bad attitudes and our negativity toward things in life keep us from experiencing the best. If you want the best life, you have to decide that you deserve the best life. Claim it. Like, no, I, I want a wonderful, amazing life and life is good for me. Life is good for me. 
Life is beautiful for me. Every single day, I experience something that makes me smile, makes me happy, brings out the joy, brings out the love and, and the freedom and the ease and the peace and the, the whatever you want, whatever it is that you want in life. You have to claim it and you have to decide that that's the way you're going to see the world from now on. And it will change that way for you. It really will. And some days you won't notice it and you'll have to, it feels like you have to work a little harder to see it with those, those eyes and that perspective. But other days you're going to be like, oh, this was like insane. It's like, where's the hidden cameras? Like, how did that work out for me? Some days will be like that. And the more that you keep yourself in a position to experience the good and like you're determined to just like only focus on the good, the more life is gonna throw you things that you never thought could happen. I will tell you, I could sit here and just make this video about like all of the things that have happened to me in my life and like why I believe in this so much. I could make a whole other video on that, but I'm not going to. But it's like, do it for yourself. Just do it as an experiment. And like I said, like if it doesn't work for you, then keep doing, like go back to the old stuff that you were doing, but just give it a chance, give it a shot. I highly recommend doing a gratitude journal and um, just focusing on like what you want to feel in life. I think that we're like super numb to the good stuff that happens to us and because it's, it's supposed to be that way, you know? And then we're like hypersensitive to everything that doesn't go the way we want. And we have to change that. We have to become numb to the stuff that's not going the way we want. And we have to become super hypersensitive to the stuff that's going great for us. That's how you're going to be more appreciative. Understand that you, you have to change what you're picking up on. Change, change what you're paying attention to. If, you're, if you feel like your life is terrible, it's because you're focusing on what's terrible. People who are really positive and happy and easygoing, you'll realize that they don't wanna spend a lot of time talking about stuff that's not going well, or you know, they just, oh yeah, oh, it's okay. You know, They just kinda don't put energy into that. They wanna see all the good stuff that's going on. That's, how you, that's really how you have to be. Appreciation comes from the willingness to see the positive and the good, no matter how small, in everything. And just like making a commitment to consistently see the good in everything. And even when it doesn't seem like there's anything good going on, you still say, well, at least, I don't know, like, at least I'm here, man. And at least I have the chance to change it into something better. No matter what, at least you're here and you have the opportunity to change it into something better. You're in control and you have that power. It's when like you feel powerless in the situation that you start feeling like overwhelmed and depressed and just like, oh, everything sucks. One of the most dangerous and unproductive things you can do to your energy is put yourself in a, a victim mentality of, man, life sucks and you know, this happened to me and this happened to me and I can't do anything about it. Don't, don't ever put yourself in that situation because once you start doing that, you're just gonna sink deeper and deeper into that hole. What you have to do is allow yourself to, to, to build up positive, positive energy and powerful energy and be like, I am in control of my life. I'm in control, I'm here and I can change anything that I want but I have to decide that I'm going to do that. And then you just start chiseling away. It doesn't matter if it seems very slow at first because at least you're moving forward. You have to keep moving forward because the way I see it is this. Sometimes when I like in a, in a mood where I'm just like, I don't feel like being positive today. You know, I just, I say to myself, okay, this day is going to go by whether I feel good about it or whether I feel bad about it. At, when I put my head down to go to sleep at night, what will I feel more fulfilled in? Trying to find whatever I can that is good and like, even if it's not like fun or exciting, at least it was like moving in the right direction or am I going to feel satisfied moping around and feeling like crap? 
I mean, I get it. The choice is up to you, but the, the obvious choice for me is, well, let, let me see what I can do. Let's, let's, let's just see what I can accomplish. One of the misconceptions that I had about being positive and, you know, being appreciative in the very beginning stages was um, feeling like it was work, like it was something that I had to work at, you know, and it's like, I gotta put it, I gotta grind, I gotta hustle, I gotta, you know, really focus. <sighs> no. If that is how you approach it, that's how it's gonna feel and it's not gonna be fun and it's not gonna work. You just have to like relax. <laughs> have you ever just been so overwhelmed and so just dissatisfied with what's going on in your life that you just sit down and you just like, you just get quiet? <laughs> That's probably one of the best things you can do is just like sit down and give it up. Give it up. Cause obviously what you're doing isn't working. Just stop, take a breath and just be like, you know what, I don't care. Okay, I'm gonna do something that is enjoyable. Go sit outside for a little bit. Make yourself a cup of tea. Um, just go watch a movie that you enjoy, that puts you in a good mood. Do something that enhances your spirits. Don't keep trying to run yourself into a brick wall because you're not going anywhere that way. Being appreciative is about feeling good. Being appreciative is about, ah, life is awesome. This is great, you know? If that's the feeling and you gotta follow that feeling. When you're not feeling good about it, when you're not feeling good about what you're doing, you should probably stop and adjust, make, make some kind of adjustment to make it more enjoyable. Because you can't, you can't appreciate anything when you're not enjoying it, when you're not able to like find the beauty in it and find the, the, good, the good in it. That is appreciation. It's like saying to yourself, I'm gonna go dig in this sand in the desert to try to find water. You're not gonna find water there. It's the desert. So don't set yourself up. I think when you feel bad, feel negative, feel down, that's just an indicator that you're trying too hard. You're trying too hard to make it something that it's just not right now. So you just gotta like ease off and Figure out a way that you can be where you're at in a more comfortable space within yourself. All right, so I'm stuck here for the time being. How can I make the most of it? How can I, instead of complain about it or like resist it, how can I just like flow through it and just allow yourself to get through it because it's not gonna be like that forever. That's why it's so important to like do what makes you happy your happiness comes from realizing that you're able to allow yourself to be happy whenever you want. And your happiness comes from allowing yourself to appreciate and allowing yourself to enjoy and allowing yourself to be satisfied and allowing yourself to let it go. That's, that's where the magic happens. Allow yourself to have a good life. Allow yourself to. Don't say, oh, I can't have a good life because this happened. I can't have a good life because I'm here. I can't have a good life because of this, this, and this. Don't do that to yourself. You're, you're keeping yourself from experiencing the best that you can have. You are doing it. It's no one else's fault and it's no one else's responsibility. The bottom line is life is good. Life is good and it's here to be good for all of us, but we can't experience the good in life unless we decide that that's how we're going to see it. It's your, it's your choice. You, you have the choice to, to thrive and to, to feel good and to be happy, or you have the choice to always see the misery and the, the, the stuff that's just like negative and like pulls you down but you have to make that decision because no one can put you in that space. Like people can give you things and you know, whatever, but like no one can change your heart except for you. So do what you have to do to like get your heart in a place where 
you can be open enough and like more receiving of good energy and finding appreciation is like a very small thing you can do that will shift your perspective and allow your life to blossom into more than you ever thought your life could be. Isn't it amazing that songbirds just sing for us? Like they just sing to make it pretty. They don't have to sing, but it's something that life has created so that we can enjoy. So sit outside and listen to the birds. Sit outside and look at the colors, the green in the grass and the yellow of these dandelions and the pinks of these flowering trees. They don't have to be those colors. The blue in the sky. How exciting that we get to live here. This can be your Garden of Eden if you let it but it will never be anything. It'll just be a lawn full of weeds if that's the way you want to see it. You deserve, you deserve, you deserve, you deserve the very best. You deserve your happiest life. You deserve your most successful life. You deserve your most abundant life. You deserve your most liberating life. So go out there and get it. Go out there, it's here for you. Do that. Be that. Be everything that you ever wanted to be. No one's going to stop you. You're more powerful than anything in your life. You have more say over your life than anybody. So use that. No one can tell you no. They can say no, but they can't stop you. <laughs> Don't let them stop you. They can't stop you unless you let them stop you. You're in control. So take your power. Be powerful. Be the master of your own reality. Appreciate life and life will give you everything that you could ever appreciate. It'll just keep, you'll just keep seeing appreciation everywhere you go. Everything will be like, wow, this is awesome. This is awesome. Wow. You know, let that be every, every second of your life. Wow. Remember when you were a kid and you were able to just like make the most mundane things seem really fun and really cool. Don't lose that. That's when you grow up. When you grow up is like when you lose your ability to see the magic in the world. Don't do that. Keeping, like keeping your childlike perspective of the world. It's not about being childish or, you know, whatever, or immature. It's about being open and just allowing the fun to keep happening. Just keep letting it be fun. Find a way to make every single moment of your life enjoyable. If you don't like something, say, okay, well, you know, see what you can change. If you can't change it, be like, all right, well, how can I see it in another way that will make it better for me? Sometimes it's hard for us to appreciate because we take life so seriously and we think it's something so serious. It's not as serious as we think. That's a downfall for us is like taking it so seriously that we gotta follow rules and you know, it's like, there's no roadmap to life. You just, you were just here and we're just like, every single moment is just like this spontaneous new thing. And we can choose, like we have infinite directions to go in at every, every single moment. Choose your own adventure to like the extreme, right? <laughs> Life is choose your own adventure every single second. So choose your adventure. Don't feel like it's been chosen for you. That's a whack adventure. It's not adventure at all. That's like, that's captivity, you know? Be free. Be free, man.